Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Maddie. I am just popping on here to kind of show you a haul of what I got today. I went out to go to the dentist. I just finished my last week of Invisaligns. So I went and got my retainers. So they give you a couple boxes of them. So many. And at first I was like, why in the world do I need that many retainers? But I guess this is supposed to keep your teeth in place every night until you don't have any more teeth. So I guess that makes sense. Then I decided to go to Macy's. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and take these out so I'm not slurring my words the whole time. Okay, so my first stop was Macy's. The one in my area, one of them, is closing down. So we went from having three Macy's uh, a few years ago, and now we have one. Um, so I went over there to see kind of they had any good deals, and they did not. <laughs> um, I guess they had good deals on things that you really wanted to still spend a good amount of money for, but in that case, I didn't. So I didn't end up buying anything except for they did have 10% <laughs> off of the perfumes, like the little roller perfumes. I like getting these small ones so that uh, I can change it up more often. And I got the Michael Kors Wonderless. Nope, it's a spray. Mm. That one was pretty good. I couldn't sample all of them, so I just was able to um, smell a few of them and then I just picked the one out of the three that I liked. And that's all I got there. And then I went to one of our shops in the mall and I can't remember the name of the shop, but super cute. It has just a lot of like little knickknacks, uh, things that you would more want to buy as gifts, um, like kind of trinkets and stuff. And they had a good sale on their clothes. I never usually buy like pajamas, I always buy leggings and just sleep in those. So I went ahead and found a couple really cool pair of pajama bottoms. And this one says, uh, for Fox sake. And then it has little kitties on it. It might be a little too bright. Let's see if I can't kind of, I just thought that was super cute. So these ended up being only like $10. And they, they are kind of like the thicker bottom. My cat is going crazy, sorry if you can hear her. And then this pair came with like a little bag for the bottoms. Um, but this is this pair and again with the of them. But I really liked the fabric of these. 60% cotton, 40% polyester. They just both felt really good. And then I got this cute little keychain. Valentine's Day is coming up and I have someone special to give this to. Just a bunch of little like Candy stuff that, like it's a flathead screwdriver, things like that. So that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Just like super random that you wouldn't really know where to go find little things like that. Um, but this store has a bunch of it. F-U-E-G-O. Fuego. That's what that store is called. Okay, the next uh, store I went into is full of bath bombs. They have the most amazing smelling, cutest looking bath bombs, almost better than Lush. And I went there, just I just went there to look around. Oh, if you could see my cats right now, they are fighting with each other, that's too cute. So let's see. 
The first thing I found was a lip scrub. Um, my lips get really chapped all winter, so if I don't have a lip scrub, then I'm just like always picking at my lips. And then I got a pretty good deal on these, um, what are they, the soy wax melts. Um, I was like buy four, get one free. I have lavender, peppermint, um, eucalyptus, and espresso bean. So those all smell really good. And then I got cold and flu bubbling bath salts. So um, that one smelled really good. I can't remember what exactly that scent was. Maybe it was just the cold and flu was the scent. I don't know. Um, so that one's like this white kind of powdery stuff that I guess you put in your bath and maybe it bubbles up or whatnot. Never used them before, so I'm not sure. And then the last thing I got there was, it's called a cocoa bomb. So it's one of the chocolate bombs that you put in your hot water or hot milk and then it melts and then there's a bunch of like probably marshmallows and things like that. Um, haven't purchased one of those yet, so thought I'd try it. And then the last store, I believe, yep, the last store I went into was Michael's. And that was super overwhelming because you first go in and it's all Valentine's Day stuff and you just want to buy everything. So I didn't really buy anything decorative except for this guy, so it's kind of reflecting, but it is three of these jars, and this one has like cotton pads, and then there's one with like um, hair bands, and then the Q-tips. So I got that for my bathroom. I just really liked this one with the hair scr scrunchies. And a couple things I've been wanting and needing lately are new um, bath sponges. So the shower, I use them in the shower, but whatever these are called. This one came with two. That was $3.99 for the two of them. And then I wanted to get a new, I have a white like Velcro towel that I use and I really wanted to get a white head because I always wrap my hair in a towel. Um, I wanted to get a white one to match. So I got that one. That was $3.99. Oh, by the way, the jars were way too much. Oh, I guess it comes with a stand. I didn't realize that. That was $9.99, more than I thought. Um, this glass I thought was super cute. I like how it had a lid. But it wasn't too thick. I do not like the really thick lids, especially for smoothies. I think they're just really hard to um, get like smoothies out and stuff like that, or just to drink anything out of. Um, they're just too big. So this one I thought was perfect size and it opens up so you can take the straw out, close that little hole and then just use that. I just thought it was really cute. $7.99. Didn't need it, but whatever. And then I got this shaker because I do not have one of these, at least with the rings. I have the big, more solid ones, but I wanted to get one since now I have some protein powder. I wanted to get one with the yeah wire thing. And, oops. So I got, I also got a new small wallet because I found that this little one that I've been using has been my favorite. It just goes into my um, small purse really easily, but it's tiny and I wanted to find one that had a little bit more pockets. So I have that for the change and money, but the thing I liked the most about it was that drop down. So you have a couple there. 
Bob. Run. And then I had a beautiful um, gym bag that I loved oh so much. I got from Target, super cute. And I left it on the ground when I was teaching my outdoor cats to stay inside because they kept bringing mice in. Um, I saw a raccoon in my video camera one night and um, what was the other thing? Oh, I think it was just cause, oh, Bob got bit by another cat for the second time in one year. So I was like, nope, we're done with that. At night, I'm shutting the dog door and you're staying in. So while he was learning to use the litter box again, I had actually had it in a place that was really hard for him to use. So I get why he did it. I'm just really bummed out of all places he had to do it on my gym bag, peed on my gym bag and completely ruined it. I wasn't able to wash it. The smell wouldn't come out. So I bought a new gym bag. This one's a little bit smaller which I like more because the other one was a little bit chunkier and it was just almost too big to carry into the into the gym. And I like this one, not that I'm gonna bring my basketball to the gym all the time, but it does have the hole to be able to put your basketball in. So that was kind of cool. And I think this one was only like $12. So I thought that was a decent price too. And yeah, so excited to use that and that's everything. Um, thank you for joining and watching my haul. I'm glad it didn't end up being too long, but I just, I haven't gone out and done anything or, or bought anything in a while. So this is a really fun day and I hope you enjoyed. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.